welcome the day of the dead. D&D Matters 2020, Island of the Dead Dolls. Mm. Make it worse, it's got creepy spiders. Um, best time to do it, definitely sunset. If you mix creepy dolls and spiders, nah, not <laughs> She's not, not she, was, she was packing it. <laughs> shit, and I'm like, come on, let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to our Day of the Dead Mexico City 2020 video. Um, or Dia del Mutes. Uh, doll City, Doll City... Video. <laughs> <laughs> Now cruise to Island, how do you say it again? La Isla de Monacas, Island of the Dolls, the Dead Dolls. Has quite a story behind it. Um, we'll tell you more when we get there. This is no ordinary island, never intended for tourists, as it has a tragic history. Mara's a bit freaked out here. She's asking me about ten times, can we go, can we go, can we go? With all the creepy dolls and all the spiders now. <laughs> 
As you approach Isla de la Municus, it becomes very eerie as you can see the dolls hanging on the trees and you get a strange feeling of being watched. This small island is home to approximately 1500 terrifying dolls. Their severed limbs, decapitated heads and blank eyes adorn trees in every direction you look. Legend states over 50 years ago, Don Julian Santana Barrera was the caretaker of the island and that one day he left his wife and child to live out his years as a recluse. While on the island, he found the body of a young girl floating dead face down in the water. According to some, a young girl actually drowned in the lake, while most others, including his relatives, say Julian merely imagined the drowned girl. Regardless, Julian devoted his life to honouring the lost soul in a unique, fascinating and for some, a very unnerving way. Soon after, Julian found a doll floating nearby in the same water. He picked up the doll and hung it to a tree as a way of showing respect and support to the spirit of the girl. It is told that Julian began to hear suspicious noises of voices in the darkness of night whilst trying to sleep, despite being in the solitude of the canals. Julian was haunted by the spirit of the girl and started hanging more dolls in an attempt to appease her spirit. He soon realised the dolls themselves were possessed by the spirit of the dead girl and continued to collect dolls, hanging them over the entire island. Ooh, make it worse. It's got creepy spiders. According to those close to him, it was as if Julian was driven by some unseen force that completely changed him. Apparently, he was very marked by the fact that he was not able to save the little girl's life. He collected dolls floating in the canals and looked for them in the rubbish heaps near his home. He is said to have even traded with locals in exchange for agricultural produce that he was growing on his island for their dolls. We're here on the island of the dolls, which is an interesting kind of island to be at. We're on the island where the Aztecs created the canals through Mexico City. It's about half an hour south of the central Mexico City. As word of the island spread, Julian began accepting a small fee to show visitors around his peculiar home. Ghost stories are a part of local lore in the region, which gave way to spooky tales of the dolls coming alive at night, apparently consumed by the dead girl's spirit. Local legend says that the dolls move their heads and arms and even open their eyes. Some witnesses claim they had heard the dolls whispering to each other, while others who were on a boat near the island said the dolls lured them to come down to the island. It is even said some boat owners will not go there for fear and superstition. Luckily or not, Jake and I did not witness any such behaviours from the dolls unless you count the spiders crawling out from hidden places that personally made my skin crawl. Although, while flying our drone around the island, after being in the air for only about one minute, it mysteriously came crashing down on the other side of a small canal. Jake tried to get the drone back in the air, but it crashed down once more. What? Where? Drone crashed because of the spirits. <laughs> it could have been. 
I must conclude it was the spirit of the girl, or possibly even Julian himself, bringing it down as to not harm any of his dolls. In a dark twist, in 2001, Julian's nephew found him dead in a canal in the same spot where he had decades earlier discovered the corpse of the girl that inspired this island. The locals believe that Julian has joined the other spirits and they are very faithful to the island as it is a charmed place. After Julian's death, it has become a tourist attraction where visitors bring more dolls to add to the vast collection. Jake and I left our own contribution on the island. And in 2013, there were 1,500 dolls here. I don't know how many there are, but... We brought one with us too. As you can see, they're all like chopped up and heads off and hanging from everything, so... Tamara's a bit freaked out here. She's asking me about 10 times, can we go, can we go, can we go? Well, with all the creepy dolls and all the spiders now. <laughs> so you can also contribute your own dolls to the island. So we brought a little Mexican doll along. I think just here. It's a good little spot. If anyone sees the Lockdown Traveller doll, we'll send you 20 bucks. <laughs> Yeah, if you could send us a picture of you and the doll. Send us a picture of you and the Lockdown Traveller doll, 20 bucks. <laughs> Done. I don't know if it's just me or not, but this really creeps me the fuck ah! out. Once the dolls and spiders got a bit too much for me, I urged Jake to leave. We jumped back on the gondola and spent a very dark, quiet, eerie ride back to the pier, hoping the spirit stayed on the island and I had no spiders hiding in my dress. As we visited the island during corona times, there were only a few other boats out on the canals and no one on the island, which made for a surreal experience. back on our gondola. Yeah, so what else have we got in our Mexico 2020 video? We've also got the historical center of Mexico City. I met up with Harvey at Central 16. It's a lovely little club you can go to. We're also gonna go check out the pyramid here and do a hot air balloon ride over the top of it, which would be really cool. Yeah, it should be a hectic lineup before we start the El Rona Roadie. Yeah. And we're heading Cancun way, aren't we? Cancun, Playa del Carmen maybe? Playa del Carmen, yeah. Uh, Tulum. Maybe TJ. Yeah. Getting around. We're going to check it out. We just went and saw the island of the dolls. Um, best time to do it, definitely sunset. Um, for the sheer reason that Tamara is only usually scared of cockroaches or. If you mix creepy dolls and spiders, nah, not <laughs> She's not. She was, she was packing it. <laughs> Jake wanted to get all these like fancy shots and shit, and I'm like, come on, let's go. <laughs> It's still pretty eerie just driving through here, especially knowing that the dogs were just... We had a couple of dogs looking at it. We didn't get it on film, but we just, I was They just might like, on the way back. What was it? it was, I just turned around tomorrow and she turned around. There was three dogs just staring at her, probably about two metres away. <laughs> Up in the bank, like, they're like, don't come here. <laughs> what would you rate it? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten? Eight out of ten. What about in scariness? Of the Doll Island? Yeah. Yeah, I'd give it, I'd give it an eight out of ten. Scariness, probably a nine. Yeah. No, eight, eight out of ten. But they do charge you as well to film. Charge you 500 pesos to film. Could be because we're gringos. Yeah, likely. <laughs> or because it's corona time. Yeah. Hey man. Mm. Buenos noches. Buenos noches. Buenos noches.
hacer una toquilla, va a ponerse el sombrero del señor Francisco Villa. Travelers have successfully circled the globe and Ooh. ended up in Mexico in 2020. Mexico 2020. Yeah, all the way from Thailand through Paris, Amsterdam, and now Mexico. So if there's anything you guys want to see in Mexico, put it in the comments. We'll see if we can get to it. Our video, we're still doing the Thailand road roadie at the moment, so we might not be here, but we could be here. Who knows? Yeah, join us for the El Rona road. Yeah. yeah. And beyond. And beyond. Welcome to an awesome adventure. Come along for the ride, Sam. Strap in. Hey there, Mr. Bus Man, won't you take me for a ride? Here's my $20, take me somewhere I can hide. I know you've heard some stories, and you don't care to hear mine. It's a long trip through the desert. And I want it on my mind I said, hey there, Mr. Busman Won't you take me for a ride? I said, hey there, Mr. Busman Won't you take me for a ride? I'm heading down to Mexico Gonna start up a new life I gotta get away from here Cause I just killed my ex-wife She drove me to insanity Wouldn't leave me alone When we got divorced She took everything I owned I said, hey there, Mr. Busman won't you take me for a ride? And I said, hey there, Mr. Busman Won't you take me for a ride? Mexico. Welcome to Mexico City. 